Angela Merkel and David Cameron met in London on Wednesday night to try to iron out differences over the EU's budget. Mrs Merkel is prepared to accept a small increase, but Mr Cameron is demanding a real terms freeze and he's threatened to veto any deal he thinks not in Britain's interests. The last time he used the so-called veto was in a negotiation of a fiscal treaty in Brussels in December 2011. And after he deployed that veto, his popularity in the opinion polls spiked upwards. So he has members of his government urging him to have more veto moments. They are really annoyed in Berlin, I think, that the British come into a negotiation like this, threatening to veto even before they've got to the table. Vetoing a budget deal could lead to political gain at home, but playing to the domestic gallery could have long-term consequences for Mr Cameron. The Prime Minister wants to renegotiate the terms of Britain's EU membership and claw back power from Brussels. And that will be difficult without friends in Berlin. I think David Cameron has a real problem in Germany with nobody actually has much sympathy for this idea that Britain could get yet more opt-outs in Europe. They do want the Brits in, but not at any price. They don't want the Brits in if they, they're going to be constantly opting out and constantly blocking the rest of Europe from moving towards closer integration, like the idea of a European banking union, which the British say, we don't want to be part of it, but you've got to design it in such a way that it doesn't damage us. Well, in some respects, both leaders need each other. Um, Angela Merkel wants a strong liberal country like the UK at the table in, in Brussels, making the case for the single market, for deregulation, for free trade around the world. On the other hand, um, David Cameron needs Angela Merkel to help him achieve some of his objectives in terms of renegotiating a settlement for Britain in the European Union, a new terms of relationship with, you know, sort of a slightly more detached relationship. They both need each other, they get on reasonably well, but at the moment, they're like two ships passing at the night. Without Germany on board, David Cameron faces the very real prospect of having to hold a referendum to decide the question of Britain's EU membership once and for all. He wants to keep his options open. If he has to play the referendum card to keep his party happy, he will. But he's reluctant to do so because he will unleash forces that may be very difficult to control. That's his problem. And Tory donors, including many people in big business, are absolutely adamant that Britain's future, economic destiny, is within the European Union. They will run for a referendum in the end as a way of avoiding taking a decision within the party. And I'm not sure the referendum will really prove anything. A referendum will probably show that the British voters, on balance, would like to stay in Europe, but a looser Europe, not the Europe Angela Merkel wants at all. On the face of it, they should have a common outlook. They're both economic liberals, they're both conservatives. But on the other hand, they're facing in two different directions when it comes to the future of Europe. Angela Merkel believes that the answer to some of Europe's problems, particularly in the Euro, is more Europe. David Cameron takes the opposite view. He thinks that this is an opportunity for Britain to disengage from some parts of the European Union. It doesn't like his, his solution is less Europe. So they're pointing in different directions. So whatever the personal chemistry between the two of them, on policy terms, they're a long way apart. There is a real feeling in Germany that uh, the Brits must decide. And I've talked to a number of people now in the senior ranks of Mrs Merkel's Christian Democrat Party, but also the Social Democratic opposition, who say, look, if you want a relationship like Norway or like Switzerland, that's fine, that's your choice. But just get it clear, you won't be sitting at the table making the decisions any longer. You will be accepting the decisions on the internal market, on trade, that we have made in Brussels, and you'll end up like the Norwegians having to accept it. David Cameron faces a difficult balancing act. Talking tough on Europe can play well at home, but the issue has torn apart previous Tory governments. Mrs Merkel, meanwhile, wants Britain to stay in the EU, but she's frustrated by Mr Cameron's stance at a time when she's seeking greater European integration. And there's a growing feeling in Germany that Britain needs to decide whether it's in or out. Daniel Garahan, Financial Times, London.